Peace and light. This is Erica Badu, live from Badu Botron, Nubian Phenomenon. And you're watching OK Player TV live. It just happens and you're just kind of lucky and blessed. And, you know, I was pulling things out of midair, basically. I uh, did the song Hotline Bling, inspired by Drake. When I put out Hotline Bling on SoundCloud, I put in the description, coming from the forthcoming album, but you can't use my phone. I was kind of choking a little bit, but um, after uh, seeing the response, I was kind of floored a little bit and felt like, okay, this is real. And I just followed it all the way to right now. I really truly believe that we created a new sound called Trap and B. That's what we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it Trap and B. Uh, so since the theme was Trap and B, I wanted to make sure that everything was authentic. So I got an actual burnout phone with a, a number that I'll toss in a couple of weeks. And I wanted to give the fans the number but I didn't want to just give it to them because I think people love the idea of discovering something. I gave them the clues on the artwork. And in the background, there's my number. What happens is the people are calling this number like nonstop and I'm answering them because they, they make me feel so good. <laughs> oh my god, Erica, I love you so much. My mom is gonna be so stoked. You look great all the time. <laughs> and, and believe me or not, you look great. Like, I can eat you up. Where is she? She told me she used to sing Other Side of the Game when she was pregnant with me, and now we literally sing it together. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> so you're my baby too. Yes, ma'am. So what was your favorite song on there? My favorite song up there, I'll have to say the joint with three, uh, your baby daddy. You making that, it's like, I can, that's the song my kids gonna grow up on, you know? I love everything that you do to your music. Thank you very much. Such an inspiration. Yes. Vine, Twitter, Facebook, Periscope, Snapchat, Instagram. I have Pinterest and I like Pinterest a lot. I have a Tumblr, but I haven't posted too many things. I've posted one or two things, but I really enjoy the things coming from Tumblr. And I love SoundCloud. I follow at least, you know, a quarter of the people that follow me. And it's just so interesting to go down my timeline and to read people's perspectives and point of views on things, you know. It's super hilarious. Is somebody talking about God? Is somebody talking about hoes? and there's somebody talking about money. So it's just always like that. No matter how far you go down, you're gonna get those three things. Holes, God, and money, in that order. To me, you know, there's really no rules to Twitter. It's just, don't talk shit. And you won't get, you know, embarrassed in front of your friends. And I love to laugh at you, especially if you talk talking shit. Just remember now, on this platform, I got, I'm the big dog. Not because I have the most followers, but because my pen is lethal. So, if you step in, come with a good pen. First thing I do when I roll out of bed and wake up in the morning is look for my phone because I'm trying to check my social media. I'm checking Twitter, I'm checking my emails, I'm checking my, text messages, I'm taking, checking my group text to make sure I didn't miss anything funny, I'm checking the weather, I'm doing everything with this phone. And it's difficult to put it down because we have put so much into it. The less you invest in these machines, the more or the better chance you have of escaping addiction. And that's what I feel. I think it is as possible to be a spiritual techie as it is to be a divine pimp. 
I live in both worlds. And I can do that because in Pisces, it's two fish, you see? One is digital, and it's a really little girl who has way too much power. And one is analog, who's a very old woman who does not desire it at all. 